Hi guys, uh, in this video, we will design a full infrastructure on AWS to launch a EC2 instance where we can deploy our application, be it a front end, back end, or any kind of service. So we will try to understand what is IAC, that is infrastructure as code, cloud formation, okay, in a very practical manner. Before we start, let me introduce myself. I am Rishav. I'm a full stack DevOps engineer. Uh, I've been working in this industry for more than six years now. And uh, I basically upload videos related to programming, AWS, cloud, DevOps, and all those stuff. So if you like that type of content, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, so before we get started, I want to say that this is going to be a hands-on uh, hands on video so a little bit of knowledge uh, is required uh, a little bit of knowledge is required although i will be explaining everything uh, on the go as well so if you don't know anything uh, that's totally fine uh, we will just start it from scratch so without wasting any further time let's get started so first of all <clears throat> you will understand what is exactly iac and what uh, what problem does it really solve so Suppose you want to deploy a EC2 instance. So how will you do that? So basically the step is like you go to the AWS console, you select EC2, you select uh, different like the tier, you select the uh, storage and all, all those stuff and then you launch the EC2 instance. So this is the practical way of doing it. Uh, this is a good way like if you're, if you're working with one or two instances that's fine. But suppose that you have like you have to deploy like thousand of EC2 instance at one go. How will you do that? You're not going to go again and again to the console and do the same thing. So that is not practical. What does IAC do or what does uh, infrastructure as code tools like CloudFormation does is basically we write all this in a, in a type of code. That's where code comes from. So we write that in a file and we feed that to the tool, IAC tool. In, the, in our case, we have CloudFormation. The, the template file will have all these steps that we generally do for example if you want to uh, launch an ec2 instance we select the tier we select the ami and all those stuff we basically write those in that file and that files basically f is feeded to iac tool and that basically deploys all the application so if you can see the um, <clears throat> the general way of uh, dealing with the iac tool is like we have a template file okay uh, it can be written in yaml or json okay then we basically store that in cloud or git so if you're working in a team uh, other team members other developers can use it and then we basically put uh, put that template file in infrastructure code so basically we feed that and it will have the steps in a declarative way that how we want to deploy our application how we want to use the resources in aws basically um, initialize and resources on our behalf using cloud formation or the iac tool so for for our purpose for in this video we will be working with cloud formation which is a tool for aws only so if you're working with aws we can use cloud formation other famous one uh, is terraform so these two are the industry standards so let's see what we will be doing in this video okay so as i told you we will have a that template file that we will write we will have all this infrastructure written in this so we will basically uh, deploying uh, launching a full with full infrastructure like a vpc we will have routing we will have internet gateway we will have subnet we will define it all hands-on so we will do it all hands-on but when you uh, log into a new aws account you get all this out of box but we will deploy we will launch everything by scratch so that we can use it for like if we are if we are designing a new system okay so this is a template file and that we feed it to cloud formation in this template file we'll have the steps to create a vpc which is a virtual private cloud for aws in which our whole infrastructure will stay if we will also define subnet and then we will also define some routing tables routes and then we will deploy or launch an ec2 instance where we can ssh and we can deploy our applications okay so this is going to be our like the tools resources we will be using from aws using cloud formation so yeah now let's see the architecture of this whole setup so this is the architecture so we have at the top level we have vpc so this is the vpc inside that we have subnet which is basically 
uh, which is basically pointing to the VPC so the, this one and then we have some route tables and before that route table we have internet gateway here so internet gateway is like where from where public traffic will come from from all over the internet and will be accessing our subnet or the or the VPC so we will have that internet gateway here so and we will have a internet gateway attachment with this route table so internet gateway attachment is like just attaching my internet gateway to this route table uh, inside that route table we will have our routes which will be pointing to the ec2 okay and we'll definitely have some security groups so like which ports you want to open like which which ports we want to open and which port we want we don't want to use so for that we can use a security group so this is the basic architecture which we'll be working on so yeah so let's get to the aws console and start uh, executing this uh, architecture so inside the console make sure you are in the region closest to you uh, for me it's mumbai and then and then just let's go to cloud formation now here you get the option to create a stack you can just click on stack and upload the stack template if you have it but we'll go to designer and see how we can design the infrastructure uh, visually okay so this is the ui of a designer so basically you get all the resources here like the ec2 and uh, s3 and all those stuff okay and then you can select the language which you want to use so for us we will be using yaml for this one and everything you can add it like the metadata mappings outputs and all those stuff okay and we have the template so whatever you it will be added to the template so it will have the overall template up here okay so to save the time uh, i've already created the overall template to be used so let's get uh, one by one and then we will just uh, copy paste all the template up here and it will basically generate a picture uh, overall picturization of that infrastructure so, so this template formation and metadata is uh, no need of us so this is basically generated by cloud formation designer so we don't need that after that we get resources so inside the resources we have all the resource like everything uh, all these services uh, which are provided by aws like s3 ec2 uh, vpc and all those stuff okay so that goes up here so the first one will have the vpc so this demo vpc if you can refer the image we have this one demo vpc vpc is like a virtual private cloud so basically it is a cloud virtually to your network or what you to your use so when you create an aws account you get one default vpc but we are not going to use it uh, for this infrastructure we are going to use a new vpc so we'll create a vpc so to create a vpc we have this resource so we name it first we name the resource name so that is going to be demo vpc we can this is basically known as the logical resource naming so this is logical resource and this logical resource will basically create a physical resource that is vpc ec2 and all those stuff okay then we have type so this type and properties this is essential this is required for every resource we create so we'll have type so the type will be what type of resource is this one so for us it is vpc so this is the way cloud from formation knows which resource is this one now all these properties are written here are coming from and guide so if you want to follow along with what type of properties you can add you can just copy this and then you can go to this user guide and you can just paste it up here okay and you can see all this guide of how to use vpc with cloud formation so you get the template here uh, in json and yaml so we are using yaml and you can see we have i've just copied the general properties of this uh, vpc okay so yeah so this is the properties we are using for vpc so the cider block ranges i have used 24 and all those are like the default one you need to pass okay next resource is if you can refer the image we have subnet so the sub uh, we can have multiple subnet in a vpc but we are using only one and again you can if you want to know about the subnet you just need to copy this search for subnet again you will get the overall uses of subnet i will again copy and paste this one okay so let's see the subnet's properties so the first one is vpc id and we are refer referencing that to the demo vpc so what is uh ref means is like we are referencing the resource vpc which is this one so 
when this resource gets created it will assign with an vpc id so using this we can reference that so it will be replaced by some or some id like something like this okay Cider block is fine for this one and the availability zone will be AP South 1A which is the AZ for me uh, from Mumbai. The next one is the internet gateway which will be the resource which is basically facing the internet. So let's create that one. So when you create internet gateway you just need to link that internet gateway to the VPC. So that linkage is known as internet gateway attachment. And here we basically reference the internet gateway ID and the again we reference the VPC. This is this both are the same thing. Okay. Then we need to create an route table. So route table will be having different routes and uh, let's see the properties of it. So it will basically refer demo VPC again and it also has one property known as depends on so what this means is like it will be initialized this route table will be initialized only when demo vpc has been done creating so this need to be in ready state then only then this can be initialized so this is what depends on the next resource we have is the routes so this will be linked to the internet gateway so let's see this is public routes so route table id it will refers this one and the internet gateway and it depends on the internet gateway attachment which is this one the next one is the security group so security groups basically have the rules for inbound and outbound traffic for your ec2 instances so for this one i have again referenced the demo vpc and for the ingress rules and meaning the inbound rules i have used port 80 and 22 so that we can ssh into it okay and last we have the ec2 so basically this one the server so ec2 have some properties which we need to initialize first the first one is the image id which is nothing but the ami and that you can get simply by like if you go to ec2 and if you create on launch instances here and you can get the EMI AMI from here okay so for this one we I'm using uh, Amazon Linux 2 make sure that the AMI is same as that you are in the region so every region have different AMIs so we'll add that one here the next one is the key name so the key name is basically a key pair which we need to access EC2 using SSH so to create that in EC2 console you need to go to network and security here you can find key pairs you can create it by going up here so I've just referenced it using the name demos instance type I'm using T2 micro which is eligible for free tier so yeah and the network interfaces so this is essential so the group set will be the security group so you can have multiple here so we are referencing the, this one so all the settings of the security group will be assigned to the c2 okay then we have depends on so that is the public route so ec2 will be depending on the public route it needs to create the public route needs to be created first this one needs to be created first so that the ec2 can work so this one is done and the last one is subnet route table association so this is essential if you if you want to ex want to access ec2 instead using ssh so you need to add this so in this we basically add route table id okay and the subnet id that's it okay so this is the resources part another part is the output part so what output have is the whenever the resource gets created it basically outputs something like the return value so that can be catched and that can be catched into outputs so I'm doing it like catching the demo demo EC2, EC2 instance public IP. So we can access it uh, directly from the outputs page. Okay. This is the overall resource which we'll be working on. So let's just copy it. Let's just go. Okay. So just let's let's just copy all this and just paste it in the template. As soon as you paste it and refresh this to get it synced you can see our resources have been correctly uh, picturized here so we have our vpc let me yeah so we have our vpc here we have subnet we have route tables ec2 and all those stuff okay now if you want to add any other resources you can just like if you want to add some more ec2 so you can just add it like this and attach and do the necessary configuration okay 
for our case, we will just go with one. So let's just delete that. After our designer, like after our infrastructure model or design is ready, we can go to save and we can save it to local file or S3 bucket. I'm going to save it to locally. So I'll name it as infra one and save it. Okay. Now let's go to cloud formation. Here you can go create stack. My template is ready. And then I'm going to click on upload a template file. And this is the one infra template. Okay, click on next. Name your template. So I'm going to name it as demo cloud formation. Click on next. You can add tags, you can add uh, multiple things, but we are not going to do that. We're just going to click on next. Now, this is the review part. Now, whenever you click submit and any error comes, there must be some issue with your template. So you need to make sure that your template is uh, correctly written and the syntax is correct. So let's click on submit. And as soon as you click submit, you can see that our resources is started to be created. So the first one, if you click on resources, you can see the VPC is started. Okay, if you can refresh it, you can see the VPC is created. Now you can see multiple resources again started to create. Okay, so let's wait for a few minutes and let's uh, come back when all the resources are ready. Okay, as you can see, our resources are completed. Now all the resources which we asked to create, it has been created like the demo VPC, demo VPC, demo SG, demo RT, demo EC2 and all those stuff. So let's go to output and if you can refresh this, you can see the output, the public IP. Okay, let's just copy this and yeah, let's just SSH into it. Let me create, create a new session here. I'll paste the host and I'm going to use the private key. So in our, my case, that was that demo CF. Click on OK and accept. It will ask you to log in as a user. So easy to user. And as soon as you click enter that, you can see that we are inside our EC2 instance. So this is the instance. If we can go up here, you see this is running and I have the IP up here. So I can upload any React application or any backend server or something like that up, up here. And that will be like deployed to that EC2 instance. So other resources also like the VPC, as you can see, uh, we'll have two VPC now. So the first one will be the default one, this one, and this is the one which we create just now. So this is how uh, easy it's to uh, design an infrastructure uh, and uh, basically initialize it on AWS using cloud formation. Now, if you want to delete this, all these resources at one go, you can just go ahead and delete it and it will start deleting all the resources one by one. You will not be charged for the creation. Okay. So that's how you basically use CloudFormation to create infrastructure on AWS. And yeah, I hope you like the video. And if you like the video, I will recommend you to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so for watching. Thank you.